stands will be glued and bread nailed to the bottom to this plus four. These will be mounted to the back wall. So we'll have the back wall and these mounts and tanks can all slide out as one. All this will be slid in as one. This will be its own piece. We're going to use some fasteners down towards the bottom to fasten everything on this side. Same with this, fasten everything in. and. Should keep everything in there nice and tight. I'm gonna put a piece, let's set my air management, and it'll sit in here, something like that. So we got our air compressor set up there where we want them. Now I'm gonna go in and mark all my holes to drill for my air compressor mount. So use some of these to mount them. Ok, 
Okay, I got everything mounted up. Bolt it down, just where it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna take these two wires, drill a hole through there. Same thing on this side. Maybe just a little cut out here for my airlines, and then a hole for my wiring for the management system. So, so I ordered these little PC fans to go under each of the air compressors. But they're a little bit smaller than I want, so I'm waiting on some larger ones. Just to give a little more cooling. And they're gonna be placed under each compressor for the wiring for the compressors as well as the air management system. Oh no, I don't know if I just want to drill holes or I think I'm going to move them the further out I can move them the less of a curve to get down to there hopefully putting the less pressure on these um, compression fittings All right, so if I do it there lines coming to here um, Wiring harness going to the edge, maybe. Something like this will come out like that. So I got the wire hole cut out, airline hole cut out, smoothed out. Just use a drill to clean up all the edges around these pedestals. Okay. Pretty 
think we got our pedestals made got the backboard all set up for my air tanks all the airlines and wiring will be figured out in the next video uh, yeah I'm getting a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna do it uh, we'll go through all that like I said in the next video but for now we got the box pretty well made I'm gonna be running uh, external filters so instead of running the filter on the actual compressors uh, I'm just gonna do a hose bar into some airline to here run it through there underneath to the center and then out the back of the box and I'll do a little air filter setup on the external side of the box there so that's where my air filters will go my actual Airlines going from the truck will come down from the air management straight back and through the outside of the box um, From the tanks uh, They're gonna tee off come through in here come to my air filtration system for my water traps um, all that and then come back uh, under to the Management system a lot of wiring and routing to do Underneath this box to lay everything out, get everything lined up nice, keep it nice, clean, and compact. Um, as well as keeping all this to be disassembled and reassembled inside this box because it's all custom fit in here. Nice, tight. There's no gaps um, in this box. So everything's snug. Everything fits in there nicely. I've had this in and out several times. Uh, have a pretty good idea of how it's all going to go back together once it's wrapped and finalized it should be freaking sweet i do still need to make the top a piece that will go up above the air tanks i'm debating on whether it's going to angle down slightly here or just be a, a full flat top let me know what you guys would do um i can angle it down slightly you know have it come in like this but let me know what you do um just kind of pointing it up by ear just like i have been for the rest of the box so we'll see see what it looks like in there i'll lay some boards out lay some plexiglass out see what i like see what i don't like and we'll go from there so hopefully you guys are like this stay tuned for the next episode and we'll catch you on the next one